By the time you guys are watching this, the news has already been out for, I don't know, like two or three days, but Stan Van Gunny got hired by the New Orleans Pelicans. Obviously, SVG was a really, really good broadcaster. I am going to miss listening to him analyze basketball, but hopefully it works out for the Pelicans because Zion needs a solid head coach. I thought Gentry was good, but Stan Van Gundy, we'll see how that works out. The Pelicans, one of the most promising young teams of the league. Obviously, they have Ingram, Zion, then they have other pieces they can move, like Drew Holiday. Plus, you know, Jackson Hayes is nice, Lonzo Ball, if he stays, or they can trade him for something. Um, they, they got a promising future, but they got to put the system around, and I think they definitely can get it done. Hopefully, Stan Van Gundy's the guy, but that's what we're going to find out in today's Pelicans Rebuild. But before we get into the video, as always, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and turn on all the post notifications so every single time I upload, you get notified, you can come watch it, or maybe you can save it for later, watch it later. As long as, long as you're watching it, I, I could care less when you watch it. I just care that you do watch it and that you enjoy it. Also, if you put anything in the comments section with any challenges or anything, I'm going to try and get a lot of those done as well. But again, thank you guys so much for watching and let's hop into it. All right, so Stan Van Gundy was not in the game, so I had to go ahead and put him in. And by put him in, I mean I changed somebody else and made him Stan Van Gundy. This is him. Kind of looks, I mean, kind of looks like him, I guess. I don't know. Um, but so he is our coach and that's pretty much it. Let's see. Oh, I can't, I don't. I gave him the same face scan as our as our uh, general assistant general manager, which doesn't matter because we're gonna get rid of him anyways. So let's just see somebody with that good negotiation and the good trading. Um, let's just bring in Eric Brown for now, assistant coach. Now uh, we can fire assistant coach as well. Bring in, we'll try and bring in like Trent Peterson, trainer. We'll leave trainer for now. We'll get a new one in next off season. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. So let's go take a peek at the roster. Obviously we have Zion and Brandon Ingram. We got Drew Holiday who I'm going to flip for a star. I don't think this rebuild is gonna be hard. I think we got this in the bag. Drew Holiday is gonna be flipped for a star. Um, JJ Reddick's contract is gonna run out. Lonzo Ball might get traded. Jackson Hayes, we might develop him into our backups or into our starting center, I don't know. Might throw him in the G League. Might just let him play. I'm not sure. Nikhil Alexander-Walker right away. I'm going to send him to the G League. And we'll send Frank Jackson to the G League too, I guess. Um, that's all we're going to do. I'm not going to send Jackson Hayes down there now. I decided. But Drew Holiday. And let's see. We got some extra second round picks. And an extra first round pick from the Lakers as well. That's the other nice thing. We have first round picks to work with. So we could get Zach Levine with the Pelicans, which would actually work out to be pretty nice. But I'm not gonna get Zach Levine because like I think within the last couple weeks, I actually made a Zach Levine Pelicans rebuild. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm The only reason I'm doing another Pelicans rebuild is because they hired a coach. So we gotta do a rebuild. We could do a first round pick and click a Pella. That'd be okay. De'Aaron Fox would be like the perfect point guard for Zach, perfect point guard, transition guard with him. That would be super nice. And then Buddy Heald wouldn't be bad either. And I could flip Buddy Heald for something nice maybe. So we'll, we'll think about that. Uh, Jamal Murray would be pretty decent too. TJ Warren. I like the De'Aaron Fox idea. That sounds really enticing. And I think that's something that would work out really well. I want to see if I can like remove. Okay, we can't do Jaleel because we need his money, which is fine. So I'll throw Jaleel Okafor back in there. And, okay, so they wanted my other pick. Can I give them maybe like 2025 pick? And I'll give them like two seconds. They are not interested in that trade. Okay, can I give them like a 2024 pick instead? Laker, actually our 2024 pick. Um, then they want a second, and they'll give me a second. I don't know why they're losing value here, but... Oh, there's... Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll do this. All right, perfect. So now we have Buddy Heald, who I'm pretty sure was in New Orleans before. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure he was. So now we got Darren Fox to be our starting point guard of the future. We're going to have to re-sign him, I think. Or maybe he has an option still for one more year. He does not. So we're going to have to re-sign him. Zion's solid. We got Zion. And we got to re-sign Brandon Ingram this offseason, which is okay. That's fine. Buddy Heald, we can trade um, right now if I want to. So I'm going to look into 
some trades for Buddy Heald, but I don't think we're going to do a ton more this season. I would just like to get a better center um, because we don't really need Buddy Heald to run the shooting guard. Well, we could, I suppose. We could have him run the shooting guard. I could go get Clint Capella, though, and save some money, which would be nice. Um, anybody else we could trade for? Blake Griffin. I think Blake Griffin would be really fun in this team. I'm not even lying, but I'm not going to trade for him here. Um, Jared Culver. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and get Clint Capella because I think as a center, he would work out really nicely. So JJ Redick is our starting shooting guard. It's not the best thing ever. I'm going to try and trade Lonzo Ball. Or do I keep him and try and trade him after? I might keep him and try and trade him after this season. All right, so this is what we're doing for this season. This is the rotation. We have Fox, Redick, who's going to be gone after the year. Brandon Ingram, we got to resign. Fox, we got to resign. Then Zion, Clint Capella. Then off the bench, we got Lonzo Ball, Derek Favors, uh, Jackson Hayes, Melly, and Hart. I'm cool with this. I think it's fine value and everything. I think we're going to be good. Um, pretty well rounded. We got a grit and grind system with Stan Van Gundy. I don't know what kind of system Stan Van Gundy actually runs. I'm going to put a seven second system out there. We're going to see how this goes. I will simulate season number one. Hopefully, we can get into the playoffs a little bit and then still have some success but still not we're not going to be all the way there but hopefully zion progresses ingram fox team should look really nice next season that's all i gotta say but either way i'll see you guys at the end of the season all right so we won 58 games in year number one so i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna say we're gonna win a championship year this year but like maybe i don't know either way here are all the awards um 58 wins. We're in the Western Conference. We might have had their best record, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's a couple people above us. Here are all of the awards, though. Um, De'Aaron Fox does make All-NBA third team. Interesting. Not the person I thought would have made an All-NBA team for us, but I'm not going to complain about that whatsoever. And Drew Holiday makes defensive second team for the Kings, so looks like it worked out for them as well. All right, so here we are as the one seed in the Western Conference are ready First year, I barely made any moves. Zion with an insane 25 points as a second-year player and not a three-point shooter at all. So that is really impressive. Darren Fox, also 24. Ingram, almost 24 points as well. We're going to lose Redick in free agency. Unless we can get him back for a cheaper deal, we'll see what is what he's wanting. And then Clint Capella, 11 rebounds was nice. I think he's a good center to have alongside Zion. Kind of like an upgraded version of Jackson Hayes, realistically. Um, but yeah, that this team looks good. Let's see if we can just win a championship. OKC still got the same team. It looks like it. So let's simulate this round. And we do make it out in five games. And we got Denver this time. Also, same team. So let's see if we can beat them. Seven game series. OK, makes sense. We had Capella and Jokic. Not my favorite matchup in the world. Um, but now we got to see if we can beat the Lakers. This is going to be the tough thing. It's 1-1. I'm going to go game by game here. We go up 2-1. We go up 3-1. Can we go up 4-1? We win 4-1. And we got the Celtics. We're in the finals in year number one, guys. This is great. We're up 3-1 on the Celtics. And let's see if we can win in five. Come on. Close game. Looks like they might steal this one. And they do. Can we take game six or are we gonna have to go to a game seven if jason tatum beats us and wins finals mvp dude that's rough that's rough proving he's a better power forward than zion we lose by seven and we're in a game seven if we would lose the championship this year i'm not mad about it but we're up by about 20 right now um yeah we're gonna win this we won by 19 points so pretty solid effort from us we got our first championship in year number one and I've only been recording for like 15 minutes, so obviously we're going to do more than one season. De'Aaron Fox, All-NBA third team, on to win a Finals MVP over Zion and Brandon Ingram. Sounds like a really good trade to me. Now the goal, re-sign him, re-sign Brandon Ingram, win a second championship, and go back to back. So let's go ahead and do that. Draft lottery time. I think we still have a draft pick. Um, We have our own draft pick. So we have the 30th pick. Okay. Staff signing. We still got Stan Van Gundy. Um, let's get a different trainer now. So let's fire our trainer and let's bring in let's bring in Randy Martin for this year. Hopefully he accepts that and he does. Okay, so we're good there. They can sign a CFO for me. 
could care less about that. We got the 30th pick. Nothing too great is going to come from that, but we'll see what we can get. So I'll simulate to that pick. And we got Jonathan Cunnert. I don't know who this guy is. We'll take him. He's a shooting guard. And then our second round pick. Oh, we have the 33rd pick. Um, We'll take Baji. And what other pick do we have? We have pick 38. Wow, we have a bunch of seconds that I totally forgot about. Sharif O'Neal come to the team. See if we can develop him into Shaq. And then McCurr Maker. Why not? We have another pick. What the? Jeez, dude. How do we have so many picks? Okay. This guy's not real, I don't think. Another pick? Come on. Scott Snow. I don't care. We're not going to be able to sign all those guys. I didn't know we had so many seconds. I don't know why Trey Jones is in this draft class because he's actually in last year's draft, cut, draft class, but it is what it is. Um, Kid Cunningham's a 79. We had the 30th pick, so we got a 74, okay? And then we also got um, a 73 in Baji and 71 in O'Neal. And anybody else? We got a 71 in McCurr Maker. And then a 71 in this guy. So we we could keep them all. And then Snow's a 53. Okay, so hear me out. If we keep all these guys, we can renounce rights and some of those other players that we have. And, you know, have some depth and not have to sign a bunch of people. Too many players. Okay, what about if we get rid of this guy? Okay, so we couldn't sign that last guy because we had too many players. Obviously going to accept these three options. Those are three solid players on rookie contracts. We got to keep them. And then qualifying offers. Lonzo can get his, sure. Brandon Ingram, De'Aaron Fox can. I can take Lonzo and trade him, which is nice. So that's what I'm planning on doing. Um, so let's just go ahead. I could, you know, try and get Giannis. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to bring Ingram and Ball and I got to get De'Aaron Fox. Okay, De'Aaron Fox. And who else? Let's bring Josh. Well, we can't negotiate a contract. We've used three so far. So Ingram, Ball, and Fox are all agreeing. That is good. Let's try and get like uh, Josh Hart back. And I'll throw Derek Favors a little like $6 million contract. And I think that's all I really need to do. So we got those five players. Okay, let's just keep going and see if we can make sure they all come in. Okay, so man... I hate that they always accept, almost always accept their qualifying offer. So I got to pay them all next year, which is fine because then I probably have a bunch of money still this year. But if I knew they were going to do that, I could have went ahead and signed somebody else. But it is what it is. Okay, so let's see what the team looks like. We got all these players. How much money do we have then? We have $35 million. How much does Anthony Davis want? $35 million. Dude, if we can get Anthony David, do I do this? I mean, I almost have to do this, right? We could run him at the center. I almost have to, dude. Let's see if he accepts it. Okay, so he's not going to accept it. Okay, I'm not too mad about that because it doesn't really make sense. But then who else could we sign? Why is Michael Porter Jr. an unrestricted free agent? I don't get that. Um, anyways, let's see who else could work nicely on this team. Um, Montrezl Harrell, I don't like his fit here at all. Gordon Hayward, we don't really need a small forward. Could we use a point guard? Possibly. We could more realistically use a shooting guard, though. I just don't like Josh Richardson as that. I would like Spencer Dinwiddie as a shooting guard, though. So we'll throw him a little bit bigger offer. See if he comes in. And he is going to sign with us. Let's see who else we could bring in. It's like a backup. Josh Richardson would be nice. So we'll take Richardson. He signed with the 76ers. Okay, so let's take... I like Bogdanovich too. Hopefully he will come back. And he is signing with us. Perfect. And... We don't need a backup center. Let's bring in Joe Harris. And that should be enough for us. So let's go ahead to player progression. We might have too many players. I'm not sure. But we have Zion who's a 92 already. Brandon Ingram goes up to an 88. Fox is an 87. Capella's an 83. Uh, Dinwiddie's an 83. He's going to go up because he's going to switch to shooting guard for us. All right, how many players do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we're gonna have like one or two too many players. That's fine. All right, I'm gonna send some people to training camps. Then we will get into season number two and see if we can win a back-to-back -back championship. All right, so I was right. We have to get rid of two players. So I'm gonna see if there's anybody I'm okay with cutting or if I should just trade people. Josh Hart, he's a 76 though. I, I'll cut McCurr Maker and Sharif O'Neal. The thing is, I can't even really like put them in the G League because I only have two G League spots anyways. So it is what it is. Kill Alexander Walker currently our shooting guard, but I would rather have that be, oh, I do not want Dinwiddie as a center. What the heck? Okay, Dinwiddie is gonna be our shooting guard. Starting lineup looks about perfect. Um, I need a backup power forward, but I would be cool with that being uh, Derek Favors, actually, for this season. So, but I could trade in, try and upgrade a little bit. So let's try and trade him. And we'll trade a first round pick. Try and get a good backup power forward. Um, if there's any out there, I will take them. If not, we'll leave it as it is. I mean, I could put like Brooke Lopez or Rashawn Holmes at the backup power forward, but then I might as well just put Derek Favors there. So I'm just going to switch favors to backup power forward. That's his backup position anyways, so let's do that. Because he's not going to get any minutes as a backup center because Jackson Hayes is going to fill that role for us. So now basically we just need a backup small forward, and I think Bogdan Bogdanovich can be that for us. So let's put him at backup three. And we got a 10-man rotation that looks really nice. Darren Fox, Spencer Dinwiddie, Brandon Ingram, Zion, Clint Capella. Then off the bench, we got Lamelo, or excuse me, Lonzo Ball, Derek Favors, Bogdanovich, Jackson Hayes, and Nikhil Alexander-Walker. I'm going to put Kunert and Baji in the G League. So let's go ahead and do that. And I don't think I need to make any trades. I think this team is going to win us another championship. So I'm not going to waste time. Let's just go ahead and simulate this season. I will see you guys at the end of the season. Let's see if we can go back to back. All right, so we won 71 games here in season number two, and I am happy as hell about that. Let's go. All right, so here are the awards. Uh, Stan Van Gundy does win his first coach of the year with the Pelicans, so that is cool. Um, any All-NBA members? We do not have any All-NBA members this time. Okay, defensively, we also do not. Okay, and then rookies. I think our rookies were pretty much all in the G League or not in the rotation, so it is what it is. Let's go check out the stats. Obviously, we're the one seed again. Zion, 24 this time. Ingram, 20. Fox, 18. Dinwiddie, 16. Bogdanovich, 11. Lonzo, 10. All right, I feel good with this. Our centers held it down. Um, yeah, this is... I don't know what else to say. This is, this is good. This is exactly what I wanted. We got OKC in the first round, and we sweep them easily. Luka, I don't think Luka's got anything for Zion. Um, they also have DeMar DeRozan, Thad Young. We got it. 4-2, we do win that one. And then we got the Lakers again, a matchup of the Western Conference Finals from last season. They got Fred Van Vliet, KCP, Braun, Yannick. Are you kidding me? How in the world? How in the world? Do they manage to sign Fred Van Vliet? Sign LeBron James, or keep LeBron James, Giannis, and Anthony Dave. Bro, that don't make any sense. Also, they gave Giannis number three, took it away from AD, and gave that man 35. Tough. Tough look. Why, why couldn't he have gotten, why couldn't Giannis get 34? Is that retired from them? Oh, of course. 30, 34 is retired because of Shaq. Makes total sense. But seriously, why didn't they just go ahead, let Anthony Davis have 23, Give LeBron six and give a or give Giannis three then. I don't know. Seriously though, I mean it's a game. Obviously, they don't know that AD was gonna have 23 and Braun was gonna have six at the beginning of the year. That seems like so long ago too, by the way. But anyways, I don't know if we can beat this team. I don't know if we can beat this team, man. Let's go game by game. We take game one. Okay, interesting. We take game. How are we beating this team? I gotta check out stats, dude. How are we beating this team? All right, let's go to the Lakers. Dude, this three-headed monster, just ridiculous. Just insane. God, that's crazy. That is, man, I can't get over that. That is just wild. That is crazy. How do they have caps? I gotta look at their, their cap space, man. 
I gotta check it out. They got negative 50 million. How did they manage to sign those people? I don't get it. Anyways, let's win ourselves another championship. 2-1. 4-1, we end up winning. That went really fast. I didn't mean to do that. But we did win, and we're in the finals and a matchup, or rematch in the finals again with the Celtics. Pretty much same team. Let's see if we can beat them this year as well. They swept us. They swept us. Yeah, I can't go out on a sweep. We gotta we gotta do another season. Let's go re-sign everybody. Let's win another championship. Cause I can't go out like that, man. I cannot go out like that. That is just not happening. No way. All right, Pelicans. We just have the 29th pick of our own. Staff signing. We still got Stan Van Gunny. It's all I care about. Let's go to the draft. See if there's anybody we can take with our pick. And we can take, I don't know, Carl Gaines, I guess. I don't care. Probably, draft class isn't probably fully um, built out. But Gaines is a 57. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. So, team player options. Of course, all four of those guys. And qualifying offers, Kendrick Williams, nah. Moratorium, we got to re-sign our guys. BI, 150. Lonzo, 103. Fox, 160. Give me those three. We got those three. Let's keep going. Who else do we need? Hart, sure. I don't want Kendrick Williams back. Y'all can have him. All right, we got those guys. And we're not going to have any money now, are we? So let's see who we can afford. Jeremy Grant, backup four? I like it. Let's throw him an offer, and he does sign with us. And Justin Holiday on a minimum. That's probably fine. We probably didn't even need Justin Holiday. It is what it is. Player progression. How good is everybody? That's what I need to know. Let me see my rookies from last year. Are they going to put us over the top to win another championship? Okay. Baji is up to an 80. That is clutch. Nikhil Alexander-Walker 79. Kuhner to 78. All right. Let's go, let's go send some people to training camps. We'll get into our final season. We'll see if there's any trades we need to make because obviously the team wasn't good enough last year. Shouldn't take too long and we should be back to win our second championship in three years. So we have won too many players. So I'm just straight up going to cut Holiday. I just signed him. I don't need him. Let's get into the season and let's make some moves. I want to look at the rotation first. Obviously the starting lineup I'm pretty happy with. I could go for a better center though, to be honest with you. And then the bench, um, it's not bad, but I'm going to make some, I got picks, dude. Why not just make some moves? This is all for fun anyways. Obviously, it's not realistic. Um, so are the moves I want to make, I'm going to trade like uh, Lonzo and two picks. We could get Ben Simmons. We could get Ben Simmons. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That would be beautiful. Wow. Can you imagine that non-shooting lineup? I don't care. That's beautiful. Give me Ben. I don't care. We're putting Ben at the shooting guard spot. Yeah, shooting guard spot. Okay. So we got Fox, Ben, Brandon Ingram, Zion Capel. This lineup can't shoot. Darren Fox, three point shot is a B plus. Ben's B minus. Ingram's A. Zion's a minus, but he doesn't shoot him. And then Capella F. Yeah, this team can't shoot. All right, next person we're going to trade is Clint Capella. And we'll throw this first and this first. Two pick swaps, see if we can get a better center. Drummond. Drummond's kind of a beast when it comes to playoff time in 2K. I don't know why, I don't know how, but he is, and I'm going to make that deal. I'm fine with that. Let's get my mans in there. All right, starting lineup is cool. Bench, we need a point guard. We can get rid of uh baji maybe to get a point card so let's take baji i'll throw this first that we just got plus this first let, let me get a backup pg um jalen suggs i would love to get jalen suggs a ring minnesota native let's do it all right this is the team and let's get suggs in here over Nikhil alexander walker because we already have spencer dinwiddie playing backup too this is a starting lineup. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Should be a fun lineup. We're going to run seven seconds because that's the best system. Stan Van Gundy, man, can you win your second championship in three years? Let's see if he can get it done. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. All right, Giannis wins an MVP with the Lakers, but look at us, man. 73 and 9. Let's go. Better record than before. Yeah, Monty Bates is just ridiculously OP. 
Um, Anthony Davis wins Defensive Player of the Year. Stan Van Gundy, another Coach of the Year. Any Pelicans on any All-NBA teams? No. But we have one Laker on first team, two on second team. That's just crazy. Um, okay, third team. I do not see a Pelican anywhere, okay? And then defensively, we do have Ben Simmons. All right, so let's go ahead. We are the one seed again. So we've been the one seed every single season, so that's a W in my opinion. Here, here are what the stats look like. I'm not going to go through them too in-depth, but you guys can look at them. One thing I do want to note, though, is that Ben Simmons had a really solid year for us. Maybe not scoring-wise because this team's so stacked, but 8.8 8 .8 assists and almost 6 rebounds is great. Let's beat Portland. See who they have. They have Bates. He's their best player now as a rookie. That's crazy. All right, let's see if we can beat them. We do. San Antonio. They got Paul George now. We should be able to beat them. We do, and now we got the Lakers again. Can we beat this Lakers team in back-to-back -back seasons? That would be ridiculous. It's 1-1. They're up 2-1. We're tied 2-2 now. We go up 3-2. Can we win this game? Or do we have to go to a game 7? It's pretty close. And we do squeak it out by one singular point. And we're in the finals. Third matchup with the, or with the Celtics. This is a newfound rivalry in the NBA, folks. Let's see if we can get it done. Um, let's go game by game. They take game one. They We take game two. What does their team look like? They had Dorian Finney-Smith. I mean, I don't know how that team beat us last season. How, I don't know how they swept us last season. 3-1. Let's win ourselves a championship. Let's see if we can get it done in five games, or are we going to have to go further? We squeak it out in OT, baby. Let's go. We are the champions, and the finals MVP is De'Aaron Fox. Again, his second finals MVP. We got our second championship in three years, and Zion didn't win a single finals MVP. That's crazy. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think the Pelicans' future is looking like with Stan Van Gunny. This was a ton of fun. I built some super teams, some monster teams with this Pelican squad. Super excited about it. We won our two championships. It's game over. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.